Hello, welcome to the Eagle 6 test video. Uh, we're going to be testing this uh, VFC Avalon today. So normal AG, not recall, really crazy. Um, but uh, this is sent in as a repair and uh, we're going to be uh, effectively, um, uh, we just obviously took it apart and uh, I wanted to try and figure out what it's, um, uh, what was wrong with it. Um, quite an interesting one because it's DSG. So, um, so it's uh, uh, quite a, a bit different. Um, uh, we can do DSG, we just, you know, predominantly, you know, the, the, the amount of guns that we get sent in um, are, um, are equal. So, um, uh, which is obviously uh, the majority of our, our workload. But um, uh, obviously we went in and inspected this one and um, it was a failed uh, bearing. Um, so we replaced the, uh, uh, the bearing set that was in there uh, and um, uh, with um, uh, Prometheus uh, eight millimeter ones, um, but we made sure that they were the uh, low profile ones. Uh, obviously with, um, uh, you always gotta pay attention to what's actually around the gearbox when you're installing stuff. Um, and, uh, and on these particular ones, uh, you do have the uh, ambidextrous fire selectors. Um, so uh, which have cogs underneath this uh, which can actually rub on the gearboxes uh, and therefore the bearings so um, uh, so obviously it's quite key uh, to make sure that um, uh, there's no interference if you don't mean uh, or catching going on there because obviously uh, as a customer moves that they can actually physically hit bearings and then break them potentially uh, and because uh, obviously the customer doesn't they just feel a bit of for uh, you know resistance and just plow through it if you know what I mean obviously that potentially can then damage the, uh, the, the bearings um, that's in there uh, or you know because it's a DSG build um, the, the stock bearings just weren't strong enough so um, I don't know if there were aftermarket ones SHS or uh, or the VFC ones that come stock with it but either way neither of those would be my choice if you know what I mean for, for a DSG um, uh, if you want to be on the real safe side go with bushings um, uh, or um, uh, you, you needs to be a Japanese uh, a bearing it re really does um, so for, for for the quality um, uh, uh, and, and you literally you can just see them uh, the, the, you know both both same size bearings but um, uh, uh, it's like night and day the difference if you know I mean, in terms of quality so um, uh, so yeah so these are the 2.5 millimeter low profile ones from uh, uh, Prometheus so uh, um, a very very nice new product for those people sort of wanting to um, uh, make sure they get that full compatibility uh, but yet still retain uh, a bearings uh, without having to uh, go with a, uh, a bushing uh, and therefore and then trim it down so um, uh, you know uh, a lot of us want to stay with the bearings um, you know because we want them and we like the performance from them so but uh, like I said there's a lot of compatibility issues out there and uh, uh, you end up having to default to, to, to bushings all the time so it's quite nice having them out there as a, as a product so now you've got the choice between an 8 millimeter size from Prometheus between 2.5 and 3 mil so which is quite nice uh, obviously if you can get away with it you always go with the bigger bigger stronger bearings you know um, so well we use we combined with um, uh, two of the gears out of the Prometheus um, uh, wide use set uh, the 18 to 1 uh, and uh, uh, because obviously the damage caused it has caused some damage on those those gears um, uh, and actually to the shell itself so, so we ended up having to polish the shell quite a lot if you know what I mean to um, uh, which is just sort of you know so it didn't look like somebody chewed it so uh, but, uh, but yeah um, uh, I mean obviously we sort of do that anyway that prep work to the, uh, to the gearbox um, yeah, so obviously got it, uh, got them paired up with the uh, the SHS um, uh, DSG uh, sector gear that was in there, um, and uh, obviously done all the shimming up on that. Um, then we uh, went with a slightly bigger spring. Um, we measured the previous one, and uh, it's definitely like a M130, M120, something like that. So we went with the M135, it was a really good guess, uh, and it came in at about. Um, uh, 350 on twos and uh, 265 on um, three twos so uh, so it's definitely on the limit so but uh, um, uh, obviously it's um, uh, predominantly the customers not going to be using twos I'd imagine so um, yeah so that's really good uh, what else uh, we did a range testing uh, found it quite short uh, in terms of uh, a range um, so we've gone with a slightly thicker nub uh, just so we can actually get the lift uh, on those three twos out to a decent range uh, not that the customer has to use three twos uh, this is sort of a maple leaf setup um, but uh, uh, you know so they can use uh, obviously anything from you know two fives up to three twos but uh, uh, we'd obviously always recommend heavier ammo just because they hold up better in the wind and they travel further so uh, but, uh, but obviously we've done the testing on that and we've made sure now with the slightly thicker Prometheus flat nub uh, that it can actually fully press down and, and, and lift should you should you want Want to, to lift out to those distances so um, uh, uh, you always got to be able to overhop you know uh, should you want to so uh, uh, which you couldn't do previously so um, so we made sure that's in there um, uh, and uh, and obviously the maple leaves are fairly solid hop rubber so um, uh, so we kept with that uh, it's already got the max hop unit um, yeah I love max hop units they're really nice aren't they so um, 
Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it was just, I mean, sort of first time I've really sort of seen one, I think. So, um, uh, uh, or at least this incarnation of it. I uh, really love the uh, the double springs pushing against back against the gearbox. That's a really good idea, isn't it? So, um, yeah, just generally just a well thought out product, that isn't it? Those those Max Hop units, um, definitely liking them. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, so that was quite nice. Uh, that's got one of those in there. And um, yeah, just overall, um, yeah, just uh, generally relatively simple ish, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. So um, uh, obviously there's a lot to think about with regards to these uh, uh, fire selectors, make sure it all goes back in the right place. Um, and uh, uh, what else do we do? So uh, yeah, just, just, yeah, just generally shimmed up and rebuilt and stuff and made sure all the parts go back in the right places and stuff. Um, and just generally got it back to being, you know, really solid build and hopefully reliability. Um, if not, contact us. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we'd like to think this bad boy is going to go on for a while. Uh, for, for a long while and um, anyway enough of me talking because I'm sure you already probably skipped to this part um, but uh, obviously we're going to be testing now um, and uh, uh, we're going to probably stick about 10 mags through just to make sure that it's reliable uh, obviously this is quite a high rate of fire build um, it was actually locked on burst and I'm going to put it back onto that but I've just put it on full auto just so I can demonstrate for you guys and um, uh, and yeah we're, we'll obviously get some rounds through this and make sure it's um, you know, um, nice and solid and all good. can't move my finger fast enough. <laughs> Got to work on those fast twitch fibers, I think. It's actually quite nice the uh, the short trigger pull so i actually quite like the feel of it so the fact that it's very 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 like hardly any movement and um you know sort of say what you will about the fast trigger responses and the abuse that can potentially happen from that you know it is quite nice and responsive how it's been you know it's short uh, and, and it's just quite, quite tap 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 and it's uh, yeah it's quite nice um uh, obviously we've had to go quite a big spring if you know what i mean to get the fps on that dual sector gear so but Uh, we're testing on 11.1 uh, 1300 uh, lipo, so quite a small 11.1.
There you go. There you go. I'm sure um, a fair few people looking at that thinking, hmm, that's kind of nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy it and I uh, hope you um, um, uh, got the reliability that you're uh, expecting. Uh, any problems, let us know uh, and then we'll sort it for you. But uh, I'd like to think that this bad boy is going to be going uh, a long time for you. So, cool. Uh, I hope you enjoy.